It's Freestyle Friday! Coming in hot with quick shots of inspiration on a variety of topics. You ever feel in a funk? You ever feel like kind of off, like, ugh, I felt better. I don't know why I feel kind of dull. Babe, when you feel like that, like, what do you do to pull yourself out of that? That's such a good question. And I'm glad we're talking about this because I'm generally a very enthusiastic person and I'm usually more often than not in a high vibe state, but there's days that I have or even stretches of days where I feel low vibe, low vibration, where I feel down and it is this odd feeling to me because I don't usually feel like that. And so I started to question and think and, you know, negativity or positivity can be compounding, right? Where that feeling, those feelings we're having can just make more of it. That's why like when you're on a hot streak in business or in dating or whatever, or in a sports game, whatever it is, you're like that hot streak compounds more, more of that hot streak. Or when you're feeling down or you're feeling negative, you're feeling in a low vibe state, that is compounding too. So oftentimes we can get kind of stuck in that rut and I'm going to be honest that there's a few days recently, Sandy and I were reflecting on this earlier this morning, but I have felt like more, you know, we're 20 weeks pregnant and like, I think my hormones are kind of changing where I've been more sensitive or hormonal lately. <laughs> and I don't know if that's like a nature biological thing or what, but it, you know, it's funny. I've been more sensitive and emotional and been more down the last few He's days been crying than typical. A lot. Yeah. He's been crying a lot. I've cried on a few, you know, movies or a few different things like where I'm just like, what is happening? This feels weird to me. Like, but, welcome to my world. I think, yeah, I think self-awareness is huge. Like I've been aware that I've been in that space and I wasn't, it's not like there's a snap of the fingers solution to to how to get out of it. But what I've realized is one I got to give grace to it. You know, we're not always up. It's okay to be down. There's ebbs and flows in life. And two, what are things that I'm doing habitually or over and over daily when I am in those high vibrations? Well, shoot, a few things for me are moving my body definitely does it for me. It creates those endorphins. Um, Committing to my morning routine, like habitually where I wake up, I'm doing the reading, expressing gratitude affirmations are huge for me. And that's something Sandy and I talk about a lot, but affirming myself of where I'm going, of what I want. And one other big thing has been like direction. Like when you have goals in your life and you know what you're marching towards and they're clear and they're concise and you know the actions you have to take towards it, whether that's scary or not, but like getting clarity on how you can move towards that that future that you've envisioned. So those are big things that I'm like, I need to get back to. I need to be reading every day. I need to be saying my affirmations. I need to be writing down my goals and knowing precisely what steps to take towards those. Because I think it's that it's that growth thing. Okay, I got to keep growing. I got to keep growing, especially as we're growing our family and everything. I think what are what are things that bring you out of a low vibe state? There's a lot of them. I think phoning a friend is huge. I have a handful of girlfriends that if I'm in a low vibe state, these people are going to absolutely rip me out of that state and get me laughing, Um, like hyena laughing, like just good vibes. So find those people, like phone a friend is huge. Music is big for me. Music will always um, pull me out of a a state that maybe feels toxic. Um, I love taking a bath. I love doing a beach walk. I love planning a trip or something exciting to look forward to, like going to a concert or I don't know, planning like a girl's night or having a vision board party or I don't know, something to like look forward to. I think too, like, I don't know, I would say like talking it through, like if there's something that makes you feel in a funk, um, sometimes you can identify like where it stems from. And maybe it's like having a conversation with that person. If it's like stemmed from something at work or if it stemmed from something um, in your relationship or with a friend or your roommate or your parents or whatever, like talking it through. Cause I think a lot of times there's incidents that we just overlook cause uh, no one really likes confrontation and then they can compile and compile and compile. And then it becomes a way bigger issue than it needs to. Whereas if you could just talk it out, 
um, you can kind of avoid those things. So, I mean, I could go on and on. I feel like um, listening to podcasts helps me. Mm. I think reading a book or like something that inspires you, like I know sometimes we'll go on YouTube and type in, you know, like Tony Robbins inspirational video or something to like fire us up. I love Gabby Bernstein's uh, super attractor, like affirmation deck. Sometimes if I'm like, okay, I need to change my mindset, I'll literally open up the deck and like shuffle them and pull one out. And it, I swear it's always like the affirmation I need to hear. So I have a whole list of things and I'm sure there's a bunch I'm forgetting, but we'd love to hear from you guys too. Like send us a DM on Instagram and let us know, like, what do you do to get out of a funk? Like what really helps you? Yeah, that is a great call. You know what? If you're listening to this right now, will you take a screenshot of this episode, share it on your stories and just tag us and let us know what gets you out of a funk or maybe ask your audience, like what gets you guys out of a funk? This is what gets me music, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, find those things that bring you joy, that bring you happiness, that make you feel like you are growing and thriving and flourishing because those are going to be the things to to go to when we are feeling in that funk or we are feeling low vibe. And know that you're totally normal. Again, you're exactly where you need to be. We all have funks. And like we always say, you cannot experience the highs unless you have lows. There's always a dip before a pop. So embrace it, lean into it, and know that the funk is is on its way out. Heck yeah. Only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible. So remember... You are magnetic.